¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Don't be afraid of the dark Be careful with stars Not every light is gonna guide you, baby Don't let them rain on your spark Keep it close to your heart All of the pressure's gonna drive you crazy Cause you rise to the madness In the morning it's all gonna vanish Don't be afraid of the dark Be careful with stars Not every light is gonna guide you Yeah, when I blow up, I'ma soar high like Peter Pan In real life, be living out my dreams If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land Whole wrist covered up in ice Dealership, never ask the price I hit the molly ball with my dogs Y'all swipe it once without thinking twice Cause this what I was made for Man, I know this what I came for On a big stage, couple thousand people And they do whatever I say so Have chicks that color the rainbow Yeah, chains on me like Django Be a long way from my tank low Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls And I'm grinding, money on my mind And I'm headed to the top I won't stop until I find it Write my name in diamonds But all these lights are blinding I wonder is it worth it Feel like I'm losing my mind Yeah, remind me Don't be afraid of the time Careful with stars, not every light is gonna guide you, baby. Don't let them rain on your spark. Keep it close to your heart. All of the pressure's gonna drive you crazy. Cause you rise to the madness. In the morning, it's all gonna vanish. Don't be afraid of the dark. Be careful with stars, not every light is gonna guide you. Since I blew up, everybody telling me that I'm the man Same people gave me the finger, they reaching out for me to give a hand In a different city and my pills came, cause this tour don't happen, I feel pain And the girl with me say she down for life, she don't even know what's my real name Just try and get what she came for, and ain't nothing I got safe though Cause when the money go wild, everybody get a piece, but it's looking like I ain't on the payroll Got a big house made out of Play-Doh, and a plastic crown for my halo But still a long way from my tank low, cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls And I'm grinding, money on my mind And I'm headed to the top, I won't stop until I find it Write my name in diamonds, but all these lights are blinding I wonder is it worth it, feel like I'm losing my mind, yeah, remind me Wow, isn't this just fantastic guys? The new Axis Auto Locking System and Locking System on the new DJI Ronin RS3. So today we're going to talk about this gimbal and my general opinions on it. Now, DJI did send me this gimbal to review, but in my Spanish channel. So they didn't include the review on the English channel, therefore they don't have any input on the video, they don't get to see it before it gets published, and it's going to be a bit less scripted than that review. Now. Having said that, did you like the video at the start guys, just a little clip of my guys just biking around in the city. Now it's not the best video uh, I could make obviously, but we had to take advantage of the opportunity. When they sent me this gimbal to create the video, uh, there was the hurricane over the Mexican Republic, therefore we had to just wait for a break in the weather because it was pouring outside horribly. And in that morning, well, it wasn't the best location, it wasn't the best light. And in general, uh, I was just getting familiar with this gimbal. So we did what we could, but I think it turned out quite well. Just before we jump into the review, a general thanks to the guys that helped me out, to Patricio, to Sergio, to Sebas, and also for Kevin and Ellie that helped me in the behind the scenes. Go and follow the bikers, they're great talents. And yeah, just shout out to those guys for making this video possible. Otherwise I would have been shooting my dogs in the forest like I regularly do. So let's start talking about the RS3. Now this Ronin is the new version from the RSC2. It's basically the third generation of the Ronin. And this one is generally targeted to people who have maybe a freelance job in filmmaking. Maybe you shoot weddings, maybe you shoot corporate videos. Maybe you have your small freelance agency when uh, you have small team. So it works perfectly with all types of mirrorless cameras. Now the payload that it can handle is up to three kilograms. That is quite a lot. Here I have the A74, which weighs around 680-690 grams, plus the 35G Master from Sony, which is another 524, and this and it's just over 1.18 kilograms, 
which is basically not even the half of the payload that it can handle. So you could easily mount here maybe an R3, a Canon R3 with a 70 to 200 lens, and it will still handle perfectly um, with the motors. They won't be overworking. Now, when we're choosing gimbals, the first thing that comes to mind is the quality of the stabilization. Is it gonna, is it gonna be smooth? Are my steps gonna be in the frame? Is it gonna be jerky when I'm rotating or when I'm pan following? And I have to say that this gimbal it was fantastic out 10 out of 10 and coming from a person that doesn't really shoot with gimbals over here i have the aircross 2 and the aircross 2 from moza i only used it for the video that they that i had to deliver to moza i didn't i haven't used it over for two years basically because well i, I don't like gimbals so i really enjoyed using the rs3 which was a big surprise for me because i'm not into gimbals and i don't really regularly use them on my shoots now the stabilization was just outstanding Standing. I was running around without taking any care. I wasn't taking any ninja steps or anything like that The stabilization is fantastic and in none of the clips you can notice all any of my steps Even when I was running at full speed now This could be down to two things the new third generation algorithm that it has for stabilization Paired with the a7 force stabilization and also the digital stabilization that it has I didn't turn them on some people turn them off so it doesn't create any wobbly effects but i didn't find any wobbly effects on my footage so i kept them on and therefore i had a perfect stabilization 10 out of 10 uh, with those features now i would have to test it out without all the ifs that it has internally in my camera to see how it performs without all that to really know the quality of the stabilization that this gimbal performs the other feature that really draws the attention is the axis auto locking system that this Ronin has as you can see by turning the gimbal on and off the axis lock and unlock automatically making the gimbal very sturdy and just basically ready for transportation now this is a huge time saver it may not appear to be the best feature out of all maybe gimmicky but it is a great feature i just calibrated the gimbal at home before going on the shoot and then just locked it threw it in the back seat of my car and i arrived perfect ready to shoot just click the button wait two and a half seconds for the cable to set up and I'm ready to shoot basically. It's just a great method to not have to calibrate it over and over again and to transport it from location to location. When we were changing location, I just basically turned it off, put it in briefcase mode with the handle and just walked it, walked with it just side by side with me and it was just perfect, completely stable. Then arrived on location, turned it on and then I was ready to shoot. So it's a huge time saver to not to have to go and lock every single thing manually and not to have to calibrate the gimbal over and over again when you were out shooting. So great feature over here. Next, I would say for DJI to make is the auto calibration. That would be just perfect. Now, continue talking about the things that I really enjoyed about this gimbal. One is the OLED screen. Now, the OLED screen is completely touch and it's just fantastic. It's very responsive and it's very intuitive. It only has four big buttons at the top and you have the calibration, the testing the calibration, then you have the follow modes and finally you have the sensitivity to movement. Now, the sensitivity to movement was speci specifically useful in my case because I wasn't in a bike, I wasn't in skates, I wasn't in a one wheel, filming these bikers just running around, I had to change the sensitivity modes all the time. It was just one click, just slide all the way to the right and it just personalize the sensitivity or the movement sensitivity, go all the way down to 100 and there I could move the gimbal very quick and it would be very responsive. Then I would just go to the left, one to slow and then I could just shoot all more smooth and more cinematic shots with just two clicks or one slide. It was just very easy to access the sensitivity and I really appreciate that. Now talking about the sensitivity, even when I was in 100%, it was very fluid and very nice. No jerky movements that you normally get with some gimbals. It was just fantastic. The algorithm is just fantastic in this gimbal. Another thing that they changed compared to the RSC2 is that now the follow modes, you not only have them on the screen, but you also have them in this little slider up here, which is very functional, just a manual button to just so much easier to operate on field when you're shooting out. You have the pan tilt follow, then pan follow, and finally you have FPV down below. It's very intuitive. I much rather prefer having physical buttons than having all in the LED screen uh, to be changing when you're on field. Now, previously I said that I'm a bit of a newbie with gimbals and that's true. So I'm not accustomed to carrying all this weight around when filming. So having the two handles, the briefcase or flashlight handle, if you may, is just a 
lifesaver for my biceps and triceps just fantastic to mitigate the weight of the camera plus the gimbal so it's just fantastic you can slot it by the left or by the right and you can obviously change the angle with this little lever over here to whatever fits your grip and it was just fantastic to mitigate the weight i didn't get tired at all and i shot around from six to seven hours it was 10 a.m yeah all the way to 4 35 p.m i was shooting continuously well intermittent not con completely continuously but i didn't feel the weight of this gimbal at all it was fantastic now talking about battery life it was six and a half hours let's say and when i returned home it still had 65 percent of the battery so it's quite lasting it's just perfect for any type of shoot you won't really run out and it goes up to 12 hours they say i haven't tested it out guys but and battery nothing to complain right there now dji what it's claiming is that this gimbal is trying to use less cables at all so to connect the camera to the gimbal so you can just use the function buttons like the record button over here it's very simple it's just through bluetooth most of the cameras nowadays have bluetooth integrated so it's very easy and once you click the button there's basically no lag between the gimbal and the camera and so you don't have to go up here and press the record button you can just all do it with one hand with your left or right hand depending so you can activate the record button and now that we're in connectivity they also sent me the raven eye and also the focus motor that we have over here and i didn't use them at all well the raven eye what it is if you don't know what it is it's just a transmitter that goes from your camera to the gimbal to a digital device whether it be a cell phone or whether it be a tablet and that allows you to not only transmit the feed from your camera, but also for a second person to control the shot, control the motors of the gimbal, while the gimbal operator only concentrates in not dying, maybe when you're in a hazardous terrain, just concentrate on the movement. Meanwhile, the second person controls and frames the shot from uh, a safe place, from remotely. So I didn't use that at all. I found it quite gimmicky, particularly because this gimbal isn't oriented to pros that need a bigger crew. I could do it all by myself. And I think I did a quite a good job. Now the focus motor I didn't use either. Uh, I don't have any manual focus lenses. And I prefer to rely on the autofocus algorithm on the a7 IV and the autofocus motors on my lenses. It just worked perfectly. There's no need for that. So therefore this little wheel that we have over here to pull focus isn't very useful at all for me. And I find it quite hard and quite gimmicky actually to be operating a gimbal and besides that you're pulling focus that's very hard too many things to do when you're shooting i prefer to just operate the gimbal frame the shot correctly let the autofocus do its work rather than trying to be three people doing one thing at the same time so yeah i didn't find the use for the focus wheel up here any useful at all so there are some things that are quite gimmicky within the ronin rs3 that not many people would actually use and it's quite a big investment from them um, the raven eye the focus wheel over here but in general aspects it's a very nice gimbal and particularly because of the quality of the stabilization and the ease of use it's a very intuitive design and this coming from a guy that doesn't get like gimbals because of those factors normally gimbals when i try to use them well it takes a lot of time to set up then when you look at the results they're a bit jerky the movements they're not really fluid like they should be and sometimes well even the motors start really bouncing around because it's they're not strong enough basically for full frame cameras and in this case i found it really easy to use i really had some fun using it that was a big surprise for me fun shooting with it and therefore um, the results are quite nice they're very fluid they're nice they're stable just what you want from a gimbal so a very reliable option i would give it a 10 out of 10 in stabilization and in ease of use then all the gimmicky stuff is something else so if you're in the market for a gimbal, I would recommend the RS3. I'm not saying this because they gifted it to me, but just because it's a very easy to use gimbal. It's quite easy. It's easy to frame the shot, easy to get good results with it. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Just my honest opinions and review on the RS3 from DJI. So um, it's up to you guys to decide whether you need this gimbal or not. And remember to like the video if you found it interesting, helpful, or maybe you liked the intro at the start or well, you just made it this far, guys. Just might as well give it a like, subscribe, all those things. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you. See you in the next one.